Hello and welcome to Did You Know Gaming Extra. In today's episode, we'll be talking about games which reference internet culture and memes. With the world becoming more and more interconnected with access to the internet, word spreads like wildfire, more so now than ever. This is partly why memes are such a major part of internet culture. Meme. Review. With so many people spending much of their time on the internet, it's unsurprising that some memes find their way into video games. In the cooperative heist game Payday 2, the player has the option to customize their character's mask. Three of the unlockable masks found in the title make reference to different memes. Jumping 100 times during a heist unlocks the mask No Me Gusta, a reference to the Me Gusta meme from Rage Comics. Completing a heist without jumping at all, however, rewards the player with the mask Rage Face, which references the LOL guy from Rage Comics. And lastly, the mask Dog, such mask, much disguise, very robber, is unlocked if the player jumps every four seconds when pulling off a heist, of course referencing the Doge meme. However, at one point there was a fourth meme mask, Baitface. This was unlocked by starting a heist and jumping immediately. The mask referenced the Trollface meme, and was believed to have been changed due to the meme being copyrighted in 2010 by its original creator, Carlos Ramirez, who has a track record of threatening to sue companies that use his meme for profit. The design of the mask was changed, being upgraded to this alternate look called Funny Man. Payday 2 isn't the only instance of a game using the troll face without the appropriate rights. The game Meme Run by Ninja Pig Studios used Trollface as its main character for their Endless Runner. This wasn't a problem when the game was free to download. However, when it appeared on the Nintendo Wii U eShop for $4.99, Carlos Ramirez got involved. The game was ultimately removed in March 2015, after Ramirez filed a DMCA notice to Nintendo for copyright infringement. The battle didn't end there, though, as the owner of Ninja Pig Studios, Jordan Schutz, claimed the game made no money. Nintendo have a strict non-disclosure agreement with every developer, so Carlos Ramirez wasn't able to see the figures to verify the claim. Ramirez even spoke to friends of Schutz, who had told him that Schutz was claiming the game would help pay for university. In fact, by looking at charts on the Wii U eShop, something didn't seem right. Meme Run topped the Christmas charts. With no updates for three years, the case could still be pending. Borderlands 2 is, unsurprisingly, chock full of references to various pieces of pop culture. Many are quite subtle, but it does have one clear reference to the meme Double Rainbow. Double Rainbow, oh my god. It's a double rainbow all the way. The reference goes the extra mile, devoting a whole area to it and even the achievement, what does it mean? I can't even capture it on my camera. In the Highlands map, the player must travel to the Hyperion enemy camp near the exit to the Highlands outwash. Then, west from there is a cliff edge that drops down to a small ledge. If the player proceeds down to the ledge, they will find a tent and be able to see a double rainbow. Claptrap or Handsome Jack will immediately trigger, imitating the original video by HungryBear9562 from 2010, who woke up amazed to find a double rainbow located outside his house. All the way! Oh. Perfect double rainbow! Street Fighter Cross Mega Man references a meme that in turn references Street Fighter itself. On the pause screen, if you hold the jump button and press up, down, 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 an 8-bit version of Guile's theme will play indefinitely. Unless the game is closed or the code is entered again, the music will override all of the tracks in the game. The name of the music on the official soundtrack is Goes With Everything, referencing the Guile's theme goes with everything meme. This meme illustrates the fact that when Guile's theme song is put to unrelated footage online, it seemingly matches whatever video is playing. This was first done by Mass Effect 360 with The Real Street Fighter in 2007. And then in 2010, Guile Theme Fits All produced the first video with the title Guile Theme Goes With Everything, overlaying the music with the scene from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Another game that references memes is the ever-popular sandbox title Minecraft. One achievement in Minecraft is called The Lie, which is triggered when the player makes a cake. This is a nod to Portal's famous meme, The Cake is a Lie, which is a phrase in the game used to convey that the reward promised to the player in the game is fictitious. 
a lie used to motivate the player. Another achievement for entering the Nether in the PC version is called We Need to Go Deeper. This is a reference to the multi-layered dream-based plot of Inception, which is a phrase that often made its way into memes. Even the phrase that appears before achievements in the game, Achievement Git, is a reference to a meme. This phrase is a reference to a somewhat older meme where early builds of the English version of Super Mario Sunshine used literal Japanese that had been Romanized. Whenever Mario received a Shine sprite in these games, the text Shine Git would appear on screen. The original Guacamele had numerous references to memes throughout the game in the form of posters and billboards, much to the distaste of some players. Rather than removing references from Guacamele 2, the devs decided to take things one step further. In the Inferno map, players are able to find a secret cave called the Heart of Dankness. As they enter, they are met with numerous warnings about the dankness of this cave. Not only does the cave feature all of the meme references from the previous title, there are also numerous NPCs who recite what are presumably quotes from disgruntled players. The characters utter phrases like, Putting memes in your work is by far the laziest way to make anything, and such a good game dumbed down by meme bullshit from like six years ago, as well as featuring the commenter's usernames. After the player reaches the end of the cave, they are met by a skeletal goat who says, Are you not full of outrage? It seems not. Perhaps you didn't see all nine of the memes. And goes on to say, You think the dankness is your ally? You merely adopted the dankness. I was born in it, molded by it. A quote which in itself is of course a reference to Bane from the Batman film The Dark Knight Rises. The player is then awarded the achievement You Survived, the icon for which is a troll face. And now it's time for this episode's random piece of trivia. Today we're looking at the third entry of the Elder Scrolls series, Morrowind. Located inside a shipwreck in the Sheogorad region, a book can be found called Cap'n's Guide to the Fishy Stick. While the book claims to be the definitive reference to fishy sticks in all of Tamriel, reading the book is impossible. As the game explains, the pages are so smeared with fishy stick sauce it is impossible to read any of them. This book isn't simply a small joke, but is actually a reference. A tradition on the series' official forum, started by user Captain Eldred, was to welcome new members with a greeting, as well as an image of a pirate holding a giant fish stick. The image was taken from an advertisement for Captain Morgan's rum, replacing the bottle of rum with a giant fish stick. The game's developers decided to honor this tradition, including the book within the game. Captain Eldred's legacy would continue within The Elder Scrolls, appearing in Oblivion, Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls Online, and Elder Scrolls Legends. In Oblivion, Mike the Liar will proclaim, Mike wishes he had a stick made out of fishies to give to you. Sadly, he does not though there appears to be no voice clip recorded. In Skyrim, during the player's approach to Sheogorath, during the quest The Mind of Madness, he says, I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. With The Elder Scrolls Online, the player is capable of cooking fishy sticks as a consumable food, as well as the default name of a Palomino horse being Fishy Stick. With the card game spin-off, Legends, when summoning the Arteum Savant, he will say, What? Oh, sorry. I was busy doing the fish stick. In Bethesda's later released Fallout 4, the fishy stick was referenced once again, with a fish, a Y face-up letter block, and a stick being found within a bathtub. Have you ever thought about making YouTube videos yourself? If you'd like to turn that dream into a reality, you should give our sponsor Skillshare a try. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes and could help you learn essential skills for making videos. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes about writing, video production, graphic design, and even marketing to help you understand your audience. Did You Know Gaming has used this service ourselves for video production, and we can vouch for its ease of access and to-the-point nature. No waiting for people to wrap up their life story before a tutorial video starts. If you're interested and completely new to video creation, we'd recommend Skillshare's excellent video editing with Adobe Premiere for beginners. 
An annual subscription for Skillshare comes in at less than $10 a month, which is less than competing services of similar quality. Or if you'd like to try out Skillshare for free, the first 500 people to sign up with the link on screen or in the description will get their first two months of Skillshare's premium service for free. So go to skl.sh forward slash did you know gaming too, or click on the link in the description to get this great offer and join more than 7 million other creators learning through Skillshare. At this point, you know what I'm about to say, unless you're new here, in which case you should probably hit that subscribe button. If you've already done that, tap the notification bell to see our videos as they get released. If you've already done all of that stuff, help us out. Give the video a like, leave a comment with your thoughts, or simply tell me how cool I am. And lastly, make this video a meme and share it everywhere, guys, come on. I'm hip, I can meme it, I can ha-meme bit, Twinkie House, lolzels. We gone, oh, memes, oh.